Hello, Pastor Steve Waldron. I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. You know, it's been a few years since I did a review on the Cambridge Concord. I thought it may be time to update the review. So this is one in goatskin. Now, if you go to evangelicalbible.com, they would kind of highly suggest this may be the perfect culmination of reading, preaching, carrying Bible, and we're going to see why. Now, the Concord, there is some differences, believe it or not, between the Concord and uh, some other Cambridge texts, like the Turquoise and the, uh, what one is it, the Westminster I've got over here. Windsor, excuse me, not Westminster, the Windsor. But this comes in a clamshell box, absolutely gorgeous. I've actually done a video a long time ago on the different Cambridge boxes because they usually just hit major home runs with their boxes. And so you can see, first of all, the size is just unbelievable. And it comes with a goat skin with the stitching. Goat skin is one word on there. Sometimes you'll see goat skin in two words on these Bibles. And it's got the classic art gilt edging, which means the salmon red under gold. I'm not sure if Sister Waldron can get in there and see that. It's hard to sometimes to see that. But just gorgeous. And you can get this, you know, it retails for a lot. I've been noticing like on eBay, at least a few months ago, they were going for pretty inexpensive for what they are. Now, it's not good enough to roll it up. It is two ribbon markers. The ribbon markers are, they're not thin and they're not thick. They're in the Goldilocks zone. And you can see a, a goat skin leather cover. And uh, I'm not sure if it's leather lined or not for sure. It, it's some gorgeous in sheet there. And I'm not sure if that's pasted down or sewn in there either. I'm just not totally sure. I will tell you, that's never been a real specialty of mine. Now when you get it, you don't wanna rip this apart. This is known as a spine stabilization page. So, and then it's got some more thick, uh, pages like children, marriages, grandchildren, all of that in the front. So you can kind of use it as a, a family type Bible. And this is typeset in eight, nine point times semi-bold 421 printed and bound in the Netherlands. Most people know what that means, that it's going to be royal young blood, which is going to be amazingly printed. Now, I should have showed you the spine. It doesn't have pure Bible uh, bands on there. Let me show you the spine. Cambridge is still the King's printer since the 1580s. Back in the late 80s, I think, maybe very early 90s, I asked the Cambridge rep why they still do Bibles. Because at that time, they were only selling about 500 Bibles a year, believe it or not. And he said, because the king told us to and never told us to stop. So it not only has the epistle dedicatory, but the translators to the readers, and this is the F.H. Scrivener's 1873 Cambridge Paragraph Bible Edition, the Frederick Henry Ambrose Scrivener's. Um, and it is considered to be between about 1900 and 1950. I'll show you what this translator of the readers looks like. Um, Cambridge, and as well with uh, Collins and Oxford and some other ones, came out with uh, some of the best printings ever known, Ear and Spottiswood. Just unbelievable printings. 
of the Bible. So it's got all this in there, then the center column reference, and if the verses are on the left, the center column reference is on my left. If it's on my right, they'll be on the right. So it's kind of easy. I think they've updated that over the years. It used to not be that easy to use. But just as far as readability, it's, you know, just as far as a readable translation. I think that creaking noise is the camera. Sister Aldrin goes in and out. Hallelujah. But at the top, it's got what the... Uh, um, subject is for that particular page but it's you know smith's own clearly because i'm in page 42 genesis 37 it's laying flat so that's just incredible this one is red lettered let me get you a spot where it's got a lot of good red lettering on there i keep skipping over so um, let's get a lot of good red letters. This one's good. It's got a lot of underlining, but it's a good red letter. And Cambridge went for a while with not good red lettering and kind of an orangish. And now they've gotten back to extremely good red lettering. Fantastic. Very readable. So I think the official print size on this may be like 8.75. Let's get the handy reader given print size deal out here. And let's look at nine. Boy, it's right on top of nine. It, it could be nine. And let's see the margins. But it just feels so good in your hand. And so it looks like about 0.2 inches at the top, um, about 0.375 inches on the side, about 0.375 inches at the bottom, and really nothing appreciable in the gutter in the middle there. But uh, I can see why Evangelical Bible promotes this Bible, uh, because just as far as carryability, um, and readability, you know, not all print size is the same because the line matching is perfect, no ghosting, um, spaces between the words, you know, the lines are great. Um, the number of letters per line, you know, they say 22 is ideal, it's probably 22. Um, Let's measure these ribbon markers. They are the same color ribbon markers, and they are two and a half inches, basically. And they're not diagonal cut, they're square cut. So that's important for many of you. Now, some of you don't like Cambridge, even though this is considered a very accurate King James text. There are slight differences within text. It's not red letter in Revelation and that is a deal to some of you but uh, they say that it's red letter while Jesus was here on earth this comes from W.W. W. Skeet in the Cambridge Companion of the Bible short glossary of biblical usage it's kind of like difficult words so it not only has a translator to the reader it has that in there as well I'm just going to tell you, just as far as carryability, it's not a thin line Bible, but it just feels so good in your hand. And church Bible publishers, local church Bible publishers, may have more supple leather as far as being able to twist it, but this is still fine, fine leather. Then the concordance, I've gone back and forth on whether I like Cambridge concordances or not, just because they're not strictly in lines, if you know what I'm saying. They're kind of uh, paragraphed out. I, I didn't like them for a long time. Then I got where I liked them. Now I'm back to kind of not liking them again. But uh, I can see some benefit in it. 
And so the center column reference is just full, just an excellent center column reference. The concordance is humongous. Let's see how big it is. It goes from page 139, 139, it may go to zero. 139 to 3, so 136 page or so concordance. What you see? And another cool thing is the concordance has decent sized print, but not just that, it's got a very good concise Bible dictionary. Now, if that's the same Bible dictionary that's in uh, one of their newer, like a paragraph model they've got out. It had some liberalism. I started just reading it like just as part of my daily Bible study, but I'm not totally sure. This may be a good one. But the Bible dictionary, it has good dating methods in here as far as chronology. And then it's got the map index, which is really intuitive how to use. It's humongous. And then the beautiful Cambridge Bible Maps. It's got 15 in total Bible Maps. And you can just look up what city you're looking in in the Gazetter at the front of the Bible Maps. And it's kind of a grid system, like A, B, C, D, E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or vice versa. And you just kind of grid it out. I've done a video or two on how to use Bible Maps over the years but you might could find those on the channel. All you have to do is hit the channel and then search. And then it's just got a couple, three blank pages in the back, including another spine stabilization page. Look, now, my Cambridge large print text only is considered a mid-sized Bible, perfect size. It's much smaller, much smaller. Appreciate Sister Waldron zooming in and out. It does have the decorative gold and red headbands. The gold and red headbands, just like the Cambridge large print in French Morocco leather. Now, French Morocco leather is sheepskin. It's much less quality than the goatskin. And then we'll show you the thickness. You can see it's much thinner than the Cambridge large print. So it's difficult. As far as just a size Bible with the goatskin, it just may be difficult to, to come up with a better one. So let's measure this little fella. It's, uh, it's about 8.45 inches tall. Now that's with the yap. A lot of people just do the Bible block. And a lot of times when you look up um, Bible dimensions online, it'll be the Bible block. I, I'm like, well, the cover's on there, so I'm going to do it the real world, like with the cover. Appreciate Sister Waldron zooming in and out there. And so that's about. Oh, 5.75 inches and then thickness it's right at an inch and a half but I will tell you it does not feel an inch and a half and I'm gonna guess these ribbon markers are a quarter of an inch thick I did not measure those but I'm gonna guess that and let's see how big of a yap it's got it's got a It's, either, it's probably 0.2 inches. They may call that 0.25 inches. So this is the Cambridge Concord goatskin. They also make it in like uh, leathers. Over the years, they've made it in bonded leathers and stuff. They'll calfskin, split calfskin. They're all great. Classic reading text type. It's not large print, but it's, it's a perfect size Bible. So, hey, God bless you. Just love for Jesus, live for Jesus, love Jesus, and uh, share his word with everybody you meet. They, three Bible verses are shared every second on social media. Why don't you share them, too? Let's reach the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'll talk with you later. Please subscribe. Talk with you in Jesus' name. Amen.